My name is Michael Ampofobwat and I'm the co-lead of this year's iGEM Ashesi team. So iGEM stands for International Genetically Engineered Machine and it's a non-profit organization that seeks to advance synthetic biology. So far, Ashesi has had two teams in the past, one in 2017 and the other in 2020. This year's team is the most recent, the 2022 team. So we are basing our idea of what the 2017 team did and they has focused on gold mining, but this time the extraction of gold from its ore using synthetic biology. But we, the 2022 team, are working on a gold biosensor project that will seek to solve the problem in the pre-exploratory stages and to be able to solve so many different problems like cost, land degradation and loss of lives to people through the disastrous means that they find themselves in in pre-exploratory mining processes. We are looking at a project that would ensure that gold pre-exploration is as easy as possible. In other words, we are developing a biosensor that would ensure that people can sense the presence of gold on a piece of land. Now this means our biosensor would interact with the environment. Although we don't intend on deploying this biosensor, we have to make sure that it's as safe to use as possible. We are doing this by developing a hydrogel capsule which will serve as a containment for our bacteria. In other words, the bacteria cannot escape into the environment, but then metal ions can get into this containment to ensure that our biosensor is functional. We are also engineering our bacteria to be methanol dependent, and this methanol will be supplied within the containment. If the bacteria is able to escape from the containment into the environment, it will not survive because the methanol resource it needs to survive is not present in the environment, but rather in the containment. We have communicated with the Minerals Commission here in Ghana, and we've also reached out to large-scale mining companies such as Golden Star. From these stakeholders, we have gotten the information such as the existing pre-exploratory methods that are being used in mining. We have pitched our idea to them and they gave us feedback that we have actually incorporated in our solution. Another requirement is collaboration, which means we're supposed to collaborate with other iGEM teams from all over the world. Currently, we are collaborating with Team Goethe University Frankfurt in Germany. We have Team Exeter in the United Kingdom, and we have Stony Brook University in the United States of America. So they're helping us with certain parts of our project, and we're also helping them with certain parts of their project. The climax of our experience was having to pitch our project and idea at the Grand Jamboree in Paris, France. We had a chance of speaking to different stakeholders and different professors about our project and what we're working on. It was exciting meeting and interacting with students and stakeholders in the synthetic biology space and listening to the projects they work on. And it brought to light the fact that synthetic biology at scale is just getting started. At the end of the event, we were able to secure a silver medal for Ghana and Tima Shesi. Gold Alliance, go for gold. Thank <laughs> you.